Every day is a school day, isn't it? And definitely here today at the RHS Flower Show preview sneak peek. It's exactly that. Now I'm chatting to James, who is going to tell me more about why a school would end up in the middle of a field in term time in the middle of the British summer. James, what an amazing thing to be able to do. It is, it's fantastic. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this is the RHS school gardens and um, we as a school, they run this every year. It's the first year we've ever actually entered it. And uh, so we're here from Nutsford Academy and we uh, entered into applying or applied to have a school garden uh, back in ooh, fe uh, November last year. Uh, we were successful with our application and, uh, and from that we really we wanted to um, really develop and grow gardening and horticulture at the school. It, it got a little bit quiet on that side of things so we wanted to use it as something as a sort of a kickstart to get it up and running. So here we are after sort of six months culmination in work and our students, we've got year seven students, we've got a team of year, year seven students working away here. We've been planting all these plants, so the majority of our plants are grown from, from seed, so it's been a massive learning experience for, for us all, and we're here today planting them. Uh, we have a theme, and our, and our theme, we were given artists was the theme this year, and we were given the artist and film director, uh, Steve McQueen. So we've gone with the theme of 12 Years a Slave, his, his uh, Oscar-winning film, and uh, which means our garden has sort of three or four key areas to it. So if you see the backdrop here, the film of 12 Years a Slave, I'm probably doing this in the wrong order, but 12 Years a Slave is after he's released as a, as a slave, he returned to live in New York in a townhouse. Uh, we have a vegetable patch because when he was, uh, when in the film, Solomon, who was the slave, they had to grow their own vegetables to survive. So we have a vegetable patch at the back. We've looked, they had to work in the cotton plantations, so growing pot cotton was going to be very difficult, so we're growing pretend cotton, so we've got cosmos and bunny tails. And then towards the front of the garden, the slave owners here, these colourful plants, they had all the money, so they had all these beautiful gardens, so that's going to be where the slave owners live. So we've got those three elements of the garden, and you can see our 12 dilapidated steps, they're recycled, not even recycled, they're very old railway sleepers, and the 12 steps represent each year he was a slave. What a fantastic, so there we have it, yeah. fantastic thing, thank you so much, okay. James You're from welcome. Nutsman Academy there. And as you can see in the background, there is so much going on, there are so many schools taking part at the, uh, the RHS Flower Show this year, and doing all this, and joining me now, this is Katie and Danny, uh, we're here from uh, Council Primary School, and we've actually merged as an academy, so we've got quite a few of your students down here today. You've been working on this for, well, more than just this beautiful sunny week, haven't you? How long yeah. has it taken to get to this point? Definitely. This is like a year's worth of work for us. Um, it, we've tried to integrate it into our curriculum um, so that it's part of what the children have been doing yeah. um, day in, day out. So, yeah, and it's, it's coming together slowly. Well, let's go and take a look a little bit more at what it is that you guys are doing because every aspect of this is different. When you walk around and look at all of the schools, you can tell they've all got their own different themes. And yours, we thought Yes, I know. Well, our, the artist that we were given is Anya Galaccio, and she celebrates the process of art. And she's very much about taking things that perhaps are often overlooked and th celebrating the beauty in that. So we've we've tried to do that in our artworks, in our garden, sorry. So we've got things like on this side, at the Whitworth Art Gallery, she took an avenue of trees and there was one that had withered and died. And she was asked to create a sculpture for it. So she created this metal tree, which reflected all of the nature in around her. And so we've tried to do that on this side of our garden. Um, and it's just trying to incorporate as many of the elements of her as an artist in the garden. We've done lots of work about watching um, what happens to plants as they die and then um, celebrating what, how things that are dead in the garden help us. So we've, we've made compost, um, we've made recipes for compost, the children have explored what things work in compost and what doesn't. And uh, Danny's done a lot at our forest school as well, so you've been out with the kids yeah. outside, haven't you? So we, we try to create a love of learning through, um, you know, real life, things that happen in real life. So getting the children out into the forest school, creating compost, learning about the cycle of, you know, we grow plants to feed 
feed the population, what happens when it dies, goodness rots, you know, com uh, compost down, and it's just a cycle. So it's been a great opportunity for children across both schools yeah. to get outside, learn some real. And we've real... got things like nettles in our garden, you know, which usually as a gardener you're clearing out, but we've been trying to celebrate what you can do with them. And they've made nettle tea and nettle bunting. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're celebrating the unsung heroes <laughs> in a garden this year. I really like the idea of that. Danny and Katie, thank you so much. And as you can see, kids really love to get out and about. They love to do something outside the classroom, but as I think we've already found, out the teachers love it just as much for all the coverage that you want for the rhs flower show this year make sure you keep it here on facebook check out our social media twitter instagram and of course for full coverage we are so dashcheshire.co.uk